Today on Game On Talks, we sit down with a man who from the beginning has been the guiding force behind the Liberty Swimming and Diving Team, head coach Jake Schellenberger. Well, Coach, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you uh, giving us some time today. You are a, a thinker, a learner on social media. You're always putting stuff out about things, just thoughts you have or things you've read. Was there a moment in your life that you're like, this was the point when I became that way? Or have you always tended to kind of lean that yeah. direction? Boy, that's a that's a good question. Uh, I've always been that way. Uh, it's been it's been sheltered yeah. a little bit. Uh, I grew up on a on a ten generation family farm. Oh wow! Uh, so lo and behold, I was a history major. I, I went to Go Shippensburg and, and studied history. Uh, so right away, I, I wasn't and I was always an athlete. Yeah. Sure, you know, always an athlete. But right away, from an early age, it wasn't just sports. Fast forward to about five years, uh, six years. Uh, after I graduated from college, I had a, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it acute yeah. hip injury, but a, a little bit of a chronic hip injury. Mm -hmm. And so that took away a lot of the athletic things that I really like to do. Thankfully, I always had the, the, the other side as far as the, the thinking and the reading and the writing. And I just recently published a book about swimming and just all these different things that I do on the side um, that if I'm not as athletic as I once was, I have my books and I have my pens, and I have my paper, and I have my thoughts. Not many coaches can all say, oh, I'm also an author. Yeah. But you can. What was that process like? Yeah, I, I just, uh, here's how it started out. Um, we, we use a, a piece of swimming equipment here at Liberty called a power tower. Mm -hmm. And through social media and just word of mouth, I mean, people saw what we were doing with these towers, and we've had you know, a bit of success here as far yeah. as our program goes. And specifically in the sprints, we've had a lot of sprint success. And so coaches would email me and say, hey, what are you doing for sprinting? What are you doing for your power towers? You know, how do you use them? What are some sets you do? Uh, so my responses to these emails would be pages and pages. And, and each email was, was personalized. Yeah. You know, it wasn't that I just copied and pasted the same email. And uh, I said, you know, I'm going to turn this into a book. And the next time somebody emails me and says, hey, how do you use power towers? Here's the book. Here's the Amazon link. Here's, here's the link. Yeah, go ahead. Let's talk about coming here to Liberty. You start the program. How challenging was that? And what's been the greatest reward to being able to start? And in essence, kind of, here's you know, clean slate. I get to do it the way I want to do it without anyone saying, well, you know, the way we've always done it is. You right. didn't have any of that. Yeah. It was easy in, in one sense, and it was extremely challenging and difficult in another. It was easy in the sense that there wasn't a culture that we needed to change. So from a culture standpoint, it was a breeze. We could choose the team. On the other side, it was extremely difficult because it is a new program. And, you know, Liberty has a unique culture that we know isn't for everyone. We wish it would be for everyone. You know, we want everybody to, to be open to the ideas that we share uh, because we think they're wholesome. We think they're healthy. We think that when we embrace the the philosophy of life if you will that we embody here that life is better mm -hmm. we can't prove that scientifically but it's something that here at liberty we know to be true and so we want to share it with other people uh, and, and the challenges we see them as i wrote a blog post about this and this is something we shared with the women there are no problems simply challenges to overcome that's not to say that the challenges haven't been difficult in in some cases you know, as far as recruiting goes and trying to build a program and convincing people that it's not a small Bible, Bible college, come here, just step foot on campus, and you'll see that, wow, okay, this is a big time place. The new facility, you, you've been waiting, you know, what, it's your seventh year seventh leading year. this program. Yeah. You have to be like a, a kid, you know, yeah. basically on Christmas Eve at this point, Christmas morning, just right around the corner. Yeah, let me, uh, <laughs> Let me make a joke here, if I will. <laughs> uh, so I tweeted out the other day a picture. We're building the front wall yeah. of, of the facility. And it's a beautiful wall. It is oh the most, I I it is the most beautiful yeah. wall. Yeah. It's a great wall. <laughs> it's a fantastic Who wall. Who paid for that wall? No, we don't have to go down that. that <laughs> and it's, a, yeah. it's a great wall. And so we're, we're building walls, yes. right? And, 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 <laughs> and in, in this sense, it, is, it truly is a fantastic wall. Yeah. Because from that wall, we're going to hang steel from sky, yeah. to quote you two. Some people will say, well, you know, finally building a pool. And I'll say, gosh, you know, from new program 
to a top 15 facility nationwide in seven years. That's fast. Yeah. That's fast. Uh, you know, Penn State, I love Penn State. We're building a pool before Penn State. Wow. And, and they've had a program since time immemorial, mm -hmm. pretty much. Uh, so to wait seven years, while it might seem like a long time when you're living the day to day, when you look back, microscopic. Yeah, it's a, it's a snapshot. Yeah, we can't wait to open it up. And I know it'll help lead to a lot more success in the future. Coach, we appreciate the time. It's always Great. good chatting with you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay.